Ladies and gentlemen, my name is uh, Marek Jucic and we are going to talk about uh, galactic mergers and uh, stellar streams, which is the topic of my diploma thesis. Today we are going, going to talk about uh, large scale structures, uh, then about the uh, structure of the, our galaxy. And uh, second part will be about uh, Magjars itself. Uh, first uh, Magjars uh, which will occur in the future, then uh, present interactions and at the end uh, past interactions. Okay, uh, large scale structures. Our galaxy is the part of, um, of the local group. Um, group of uh, galaxies are the groups which consist of uh, mainly two, three uh, main galaxies, which are the normal size galaxies and other dwarf galaxies. Uh, when it comes to the radius, it is about uh, megaparsecs. And what is uh, really important, they are gravitationally bounded. So uh, when uh, space is expanding, they held together. Um, they will be not uh, too apart. Uh, then we have uh, galactic clusters. Our galaxy is not part of uh, galactic clusters because galactic clusters are uh, structures which contains on, of more uh, dominant galaxies. Uh, there can be hundreds up to thousands uh, galaxies, but they are still gravitationally bounded. Uh, and the largest, uh, largest uh, structures are the uh, superclusters which are not uh, bounded and there can be uh, hundred thousands of uh, galaxies in such uh, structures. Uh, we are part of uh, Virgo sub uh, supercluster, which is a sub part of uh, larger Laniakea uh, supercluster, super which can be seen here. And uh, we are here. So, uh, relatively small uh, group. Okay, let's talk about uh, structure of uh, our galaxy. But first, we must introduce uh, types of uh, galaxies. Uh, Hubble was uh, the first man who um, proved that uh, other galaxies exist. And when he, when he observed uh, galaxies, he mm, made uh, some Hubble, uh, mm, Hubble classification, which is uh, used uh, until these days. Uh, you can see that uh, galaxies are divided into uh, three groups, not only two, which are there, uh, into elliptical galaxies, spiral and... Uh, uh, not uh, mm, ir yes, yes, irregular. So let's start with elliptical galaxies. Elliptical galaxies are the oldest one. They are not uh, galaxies as you can imagine galaxy, uh, because you you may think about uh, galaxy as some disk and uh, stars rotating about the center. Uh, elliptical galaxies are galaxies where stars are rotating about the center, but not in one plane, galactic plane, but they are orbiting in a random in inclination, which leads to the uh, elliptical shape. And a subclass of elliptical galaxies are shell galaxies, where uh, Stars are in shell-like structures, but they are very rare. And the uh, formation of uh, such galaxy is uh, study still and not very good known. Okay, 
uh, then spiral galaxies. Our Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. Uh, the typical sign of uh, spiral galaxies are uh, arms, as you can see on the pictures. And there are two types of, uh, not two or three types of spiral galaxies. They can be just regular spiral, spiral galaxies, uh, which can be seen on the first picture and uh, barred spiral galaxy when uh, uh, from the center of galaxies, center of, of galaxy is uh, enlarged into two uh, bars from which uh, comes to spirals. Or they can be superluminous uh, spiral galaxies, which are the product of uh, merging events between two galaxies. But they can be also spiral or barred spiral. So this is different only in the sizes. Okay, lenticular galaxies. Lenticular galaxies are something very different. Lenticular galaxies are here in the cen center, and it is the is the mixture of the spiral and uh, elliptical galaxies. They can have uh, some signs of uh, spirals, even of uh, bars. And then uh, irregular galaxies. Irregular galaxies are the hmm, very common galaxies, but they are uh, usually small, usually dwarf galaxies. Uh, they are product of the major events and other uh, interactions. They can be divided into two groups, uh, type 1 and type 2. In cups, when it comes to the type 1, type 1 may have uh, some central bulge, but this central bulge is not in the center. So some over density uh, area but not uh, as in our galaxy. And type 2 uh, is uh, irregular, irregular, as you can imagine something irregular. It's uh, like no any, any uh, typical structures are there. Okay, now we can uh, talk about uh, structure of uh, galaxy, of our galaxy. Uh, at the center there is a bulge, then a disk which is divided into two parts, thick and thin disk and halo. Let's talk about, uh, about galactic center. At absolute uh, center of our galaxy is a black hole, uh, Sagittarius A. Uh, and er around this black hole are orbiting uh, stars, but they are, they are not orbiting in one plane, but they are orbiting with different uh, inclination, which leads to the uh, formation of uh, galactic bulge, which is not a uh, disk-like disc structure, but it is a rather spherical structure. It can be seen here. Uh, at the center, uh, star formation is still ongoing and uh, their uh, typical stars for uh, bulge are red giants. And uh, en elongated uh, bars of uh, galactic center are galactic bars which can be responsible for some times of resonances, but uh, this is not the topic of our presentation. Uh, disc, as I have uh, said, disc is uh, divided into thin and thick disc. Uh, thin disc is uh, disc, as you imagine disc, it is the most dense part of the disk. It consists of 95% of all stars. And there are young stars, uh, 
massive and metal ridge. Uh, even our sun is in thin disk. Then uh, thick disk is uh, much thick structure, uh, much older structure, uh, because uh, no young uh, stars are there and uh, densities are there much lower. We can see here uh, equation of the potential of the disk, which is the potential of wall galactic disk with thin and thick disk, thick disk which is rep represented by the uh, by the parameters uh, surface density, surface densities, and uh, radial distances. It is very important to know uh, which type of stars are typical for uh, such structures. It is very important that in thin disk you can expect only young stars and in thick disk uh, there are, there are uh, old stars. We will talk about this later. Spiral arms. Spir spiral arms are uh, mm, something very characteristic for our galaxies, but when it comes to the uh, motion of stars is itself, it has only small impacts because uh, uh, spiral arms are just uh, over densities by some uh, few percents. And this is it. Uh, we can see here. Uh, um, equation of potential of uh, spiral arms. So spiral arms in this presentation will, will be not uh, very important, but I want to include there here. What is important are halo, halo. Uh, halo may be uh, spherical structures, which is divided into stellar halo, uh, which consists of uh, the most oldest stars in our galaxy uh, and uh, globular clusters are uh, located there. Uh, stellar halo, uh, uh, radius of stellar halo may be about uh, 100 uh, kiloparsecs. Then uh, we have uh, gaseous, gaseous halo which uh, consist of uh, molecules only and then uh, dark matter halo, halo which may consist of dark matter or we don't know what is there. So this is uh, actual models of uh, galaxy. And let's talk about uh, mergers and collisions. As I have said, uh, our galaxy is uh, is the part of a local group uh, together with Andromeda and they are gravi gravitationally uh, major objects. Uh, they interact each other which leads, leads to the um, attraction and uh, product will be Merger events, Milky Way and galaxy will um, make new galaxy. We don't know if there, it will be spiral galaxy or elliptical galaxy. Uh, scientists give it may Milkomeda or Milk Milkdromeda. Uh, our Milky uh, Way galaxy has uh, more dwarf neighbors galaxy which will merge with this uh, colossal galaxy too and then uh, no major interaction will occur. Why? Because uh, spa space is uh, expanding and in the future expansion will be even, uh, even faster. So uh, after formation of giant galaxy from all galaxies in the local group. No other galaxies are in the neighborhoods of local groups 
in such distance that it can gravitational, gravitationally attract uh, to such a new structure. Okay, uh, so maybe everybody may know about uh, collision which collision which will occur in the future, but uh, our galaxy is interacting with uh, other objects even now. But first we, we must talk about stellar streams. Such interactions leads to the formation of stellar streams, which are uh, stars um, from globular clusters or, uh, or dwarf galaxy. And uh, because of tidal force, they form such stream-like structures. They can be re very long, about uh, 100 kiloparsecs. Such streams can be observed as uh, results of interaction between Sagittarius galaxy and uh, Milky Way. Sagittarius galaxy is a dwarf galaxy which exists now and uh, rotates uh, around our galaxy, uh, which leads to the formation of uh, Sagittarius streams. Uh, it may have impact on uh, stars near the galactic core and uh, may be absorbed by Milky Way in about a billion years. Uh, also, we have uh, large and small Magallic, Magallanic clouds in uh, our neighborhood. Uh, which are interacting uh, too. They are interacting each other, which leads to the formation of uh, Magallanic stream. But uh, last uh, recent models shows that uh, important role in formation of uh, these streams plays even stars from our galaxy. So these these are the example of uh, pre present. Uh, present interaction. Let's talk about the past. How we know that uh, there may be some uh, major events in the past? As I have said, it is really important to know which types of stars are typical for the structure of, uh, of uh, galaxy. So when you find a big population of stars, for example, in uh, thin disk, when you found new stars, and there will be um, thousands of new stars in some formation, it is good indication that uh, they are not from uh, not from uh, our galaxy, and uh, inclination, radius, and so on of uh, such orbiting stars can tell us about uh, the properties of uh, body from which they were formed. So the most known uh, such, such structure is Gaia Enceladus. It was first observed uh, by uh, probe Hipparchos, but uh, later works were uh, uh, later observation were done with uh, Gaia, from which it's, ga uh, it's gained its name Gaia Enceladus, or sometimes it uh, can be referred as Gaia Sausage because of uh, because of these structures for um, which uh, can indicate sausage-like shape, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, sausage with boil very long time, maybe. <laughs> but what is really important? You can see uh, there are uh, not Gaia uh, found a uh, stellar population which differ from the rest of the uh, galaxy. Here we can see uh, velocities. And uh, velocity in uh, y 
and uh, um, total velocity. Here is uh, in the corner a thin disk, uh, thin disk star uh, with grey. Uh, black are the halo star and blue are outstanding stars which with different kinematic properties. Okay, it is uh, interesting but and good indication that uh, they may be f from another place. When uh, they analyze uh, chemical properties of such uh, of dead stars, they found that they have even different uh, chemical abundances. Uh, here you can see that uh, they are absolutely different than thin and thin disk. And even what is very important, that uh, they are not only in uh, one place, for example in here, but it is a uh, broad uh, amount of uh, abundances. So, which leads to the uh, conclusion that uh, they originated in larger structure and this larger structure is Gaia Enceladus galaxy which merged with our galaxy when it occurred. So uh, such galaxy uh, may be about 6 times 10 up, uh, to 8 or 5 um, times 10 to uh, 10 solar mass. It may be this, it may have this like shape. Why this like? Uh, because there have been uh, uh, simulations which wants to reproduce such shape, such uh, um, properties, such uh, kinematical properties with uh, different shapes of a galaxy. And uh, the best results where when the galaxy is disk-like. So only disk-like uh, galaxy may form such uh, stars. Uh, when such uh, major events occur, it was about uh, 10 or 13 billion years ago, when our Milky Way was only proto-galaxy and Gaia Enceladus was uh, proto-galaxy too. Uh, it was orbit, uh, orbiting about around our galaxy in retrograde uh, direction with inclina inclination about 14 uh, degrees. And uh, we can see here kinematical properties and chemical properties. Uh, scientists even found uh, wall globular clusters with such properties which may originate it in such galaxy. You can hear, you can see here uh, how these merger events may look like, and uh, mm, how our Milky Way uh, looks now. Let's talk about Sequoia Galaxy, which is not very known galaxy. Why? Uh, first, I want to talk about uh, parameters. A uh, uh, mass of such galaxy may be about uh, ten. To 10 uh, solar mass. Uh, measure events may occur uh, 9 up to 11 um, billion years ago. Again, uh, orbital type was uh, in retrograde, retrograde direction with high uh, declination and it also uh, may, may left us some globular, globular clusters. Let's see why scientists are talking about uh, Sequoia Galaxy. Here in uh, this picture you can see that uh, stars which can uh, originate it in uh, uh, Gaia Enceladus, here it, it is donated as sausage, they are here and here are uh, uh, E even much more retrograde uh, structure with higher inclination, so it may lead to the conclusion that such stars 
originated in another galaxy with properties uh, which you have seen before. Or another uh, interpretation is that is the only edge of uh, Gaia Enceladus or it is a product of Gaia Enceladus and some much smaller galaxy which uh, was given uh, name Tamnos. So, thank you for attention. This is everything about galactic mergers and collisions. Thank you.